Friends of Minidoka is a local nonprofit asking for your help during Idaho Gives. They work to educate the public about the incarceration of thousands of Japanese American citizens during the Second World War. Our Idaho News 6 reporter Alex Grad has more on how the organization will further its educational efforts through the Idaho Gives campaign. When people learn about World War II, they tend to discuss what happened overseas, as well as the economic boom and job creation here in the U.S. But many lessons fail to recognize the discrimination that the Japanese American population faced. It's not only a Japanese American story, you know, it's a story for all of Americans um, and for people worldwide to learn from. And it's one of the most important examples of civil liberties violations in our nation's history. This is the fifth year Friends of Minidoka is participating in Idaho Gives. And this year, funding will go towards expanding educational options such as sponsored field trips. We have an educational curriculum component that will have four short films also told through the firsthand stories of survivors and study guides for each one of those short films. And that will be free online. So I grew up in Idaho. I'm, I'm of Japanese ancestry and we just don't learn about this at in our public schools. Um, it took me going to college out of state to even learn about the incarceration. And I was so surprised to hear that it had happened um, here in my backyard in Idaho. In coordination with the Minidoka Historical Site, the goal is to provide a sobering experience. Towers, searchlights, barbed wire fences around us. If they thought we were trying to escape, they had the right to shoot us. We want to make sure that it's preserved and maintained in the best possible way because when that camp survivor does show up with their grandchild to be able to say, this is my American experience. Park rangers and friends of Minidoka are both excited to educate people about what happened and understand the importance of having more resources in the classroom. Knowing that we have projects in place, whether it's educational curriculum for both middle school onto high school level students to be able to continue this learning outside of just coming to this site, but to be able to take that learning back into the classroom and vice versa, we recognize that teachers need the curriculum and need that support. Now that there is more accessibility to this part of history, some students were shocked to learn how close to home it was. It almost feels hypocritical that we were off fighting, you know, in World War II against the Nazis, against these people that were holding these people in these concentration camps against their will because just because of their race. And we were doing that here while we were fighting it. I'm Alex Grant, Idaho News 6. Now, the final day for Idaho Gives Donations is tomorrow. And if you'd like to donate to the Friends of Minidoka, just head to our website, at idahonews6.com. And at last check, they have smashed their goal of $10,000 well on their way to twenty.